see her walk around. I think she's going to fly out of the nest. There she hopped up on her limb. That's her perch right next to the nest. She'll hang out there and call the mate. He'll bring in some more sticks. As you can see, compared to her, that's a good sized nest. I'll come back in a little bit. There we are. Oh yeah, there she goes. Here comes our eagle in with a stick. All right, look at that. She brought in a branch. How cool is that? Look at that. She's gonna work on the nest. Oh, we got good filtered light today. Oh my, they're working on the nest. Well, when the weather's good, they keep repairing it, so that's good. This is the nest in the James Street, Kent, Washington. Oh yeah, I'll come in a little more here. There we are. Yeah, she's busy working on the nest today. Maybe we'll see the mate come in with his donation. All right. I'll zoom out a little bit. Sorry, put the stick in. You can see it's a good sized nest. Got excellent spot right on the curve here. There she's going to come up here on the limb, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's looking around, trying to figure out where she's going to get her next stick. And we're hoping to see her mate come in. He's coming in now with a stick. I'll back off a little bit. So they're working on the nest, the two of them. Here, we got one in, here he comes. All right, check that out. Brought that stick in. Two eagles working on the nest. My goodness. How cool is that? Yeah, they're getting it all squared away here. They're just busy. You can see it's a good sized nest. Well, when you get a nice day like this, you can see it's a good size stick they're weaving in there. And uh, by the time it's nesting season, they'll have this all tidied up and looking good. A lot of people don't know they work on it, you know, almost uh, around the clock, around the calendar here. But uh, they find the proper stick, they do a little repair and get it all squared away. And I'll come in a little more. Well, there they are, both of them in there working. Oh yeah, they're just weaving it in there now. Look at this stick here. How cool is this? <laughs> they're trying to decide one wants it here and one wants it over there. So this will give you a good idea how the behavior goes on arranging these sticks in there. Oh, we like it down here. We get a lot of good videos here. Oh yeah, they're tugging and adjusting there. Look at that. Yeah, they're just busy. What a wonderful day to come down here and catch these eagles working on the nest. The size of them wings. Isn't that something? What a majestic birds. Yeah, they want to put that one over there and the other one wants it over here, so. Well, we'll keep an eye on them. We're liking this. Yeah, they're working away here and uh, running a good video on this. Now he's packing the stick back in there, looking really good. Got both of them up here working on the nest. And, uh, now he's got his wings out, maybe we'll see him fly away. It looks like a great video here. Getting a good soundtrack on it. Got the two love birds in the nest working. Oh yeah, that's a good size stick they brought in there. And they're getting it all arranged then. And they're happy with the way they arrange that stick in there. <laughs> quite a time. One wanted at one place and one wanted at the other. 
But they made their decision now and they're sitting in here happily and uh, we'll just keep an eye on them a little bit. Maybe we'll see them fly out for the next stick. Oh yeah. They had a little mishap with their egg this last spring so they didn't get any youngsters. So they'll be ready for this next nesting cycle. They're working on it, doing a fine job. Oh, yeah, they're just working away here and enjoying it. I like that filtered light, and we like it too. Got that stick all woven in there. And one keeping an eye on the other one. Sometimes they can't decide exactly where to put that stick, but they get it in there. They make a decision and weave it in, so. This is our pair of bald eagles in Kent, Washington down there by the River Bend Golf Course. It's a great nest. There's no sticks in the way and we can really, oh yeah, look at those wings. There he goes, flying out. Going after another stick probably. She's just kind of looking at him. All right, we'll come back in a little bit. There we go. So they're busy with the nest building today, or repairing. It's uh, that's some pretty good weather, and they're taking the opportunity to get everything squared away. So she'll sit here and wait for him. He's over in the tree, I think, breaking off another stick. So we'll keep an eye on him. Well, here comes our eagle in with another stick. We'll see how he does here. I'll back off so we get the landing. Bringing in a stick to her right now. All right, there he landed in there with it. Look at that. We'll see how, we'll see how they're doing on that. Oh yeah, they're weaving it in there now. Now he was over in the other cottonwood tree and he's breaking off a limb. He was up in the tree limb there and he snapped off what he could get and he just brought it here. They brought a couple already today and they've been working out pretty good. I'll come in a little closer here. Oh yeah, there we are. Now we're into the tidying up the nest and weaving in a few sticks again. We like this filtered light. I can just show their yellow beaks and the white on their head. It doesn't wash out with sunlight then. I got one behind the other one now. We do see a lot of ducks and stuff flying up and down the river, too. But they're uh, more into eating the salmon. And they had a good salmon run this year, and they really had plenty to eat. Oh, yeah, we got both their heads there. But you can see how big that nest is. My goodness. Oh, yeah, I hear they're going to work with a stick and talk about it. And one wants it here, and one wants it over there. It gets kind of funny sometimes watching them trying to make the decision where to weave in that stick. <laughs> oh yeah, they work on it. They're doing a great job. We saw a kestrel fly by earlier, and, and the other day we saw a merlin. In fact, saw two merlins in the area, so we're keeping an eye out for them too. You can see the breeze is picking up a little bit. The leaves are blowing, and but they got their mind on weaving that stick in there, getting everything squared away. All right then. Here's our pair of bald eagles. She got off the nest because the weather finally warmed up, so she could take a short break. We know they got eggs in there because. Oh yeah, now they're talking. Yeah, they're talking to each other. And they're all excited because the weather finally warmed up. Oh, they're mating, see? There's eagles mating, look at that. Finally got a mating, yep, they're putting the eggs in the nest and there's your eat two bald eagles mating. So we got here just at the right time. That's fantastic. You very seldom get a shot. 
Well, here's our pair of bald eagles. We're right next to the golf course on the Maple Valley Highway by the Cedar River Bridge. And uh, they're up here working on their nest. And he just flew in there with a stick and they've been weaving them in there. And uh, I just happened to be at the right time, right place at the right time. And the sunshine had come out, so we're good here. And they're just looking around. I have a good angle on the nest here. There's not too many sticks in the way. So I thought, well, I'll come down and check on him. And sure enough, just as I got here, he flew in. And uh, so I got set up and we got him in here. Uh, have a little conversation, a little weaving of the sticks in the nest. So they're enjoying the sunshine. It rained last night. I heard it raining. Finally, the sun came out and the sky is blue and the bald eagles are just busy. I think he's thinking about getting ready to fly out. Right below them is the Cedar River. There's plenty of fish in there, salmon and everything. So, no, oh, they're going to work a little bit. Yeah, they're serious about it. You can see how deep that nest is. And it's good size. And so with two of them in there, I'll back off a little bit so you get a perspective on it. There you go. You see, it's a good sized nest. And I'll draw them up again. Coming back in on them now. There we go. But yeah, it's a huge nest and uh, hopefully they'll have good success and then uh, we'll be able to make a video of the youngsters this year. It should work out very good. It's in a perfect spot for us. They just drive in and we're very close. So there's no leaves on there now. Hopefully uh, later on the season, I think on this side there's very few limbs. I think there's one. I can probably shoot around it later on. Well, I think I'm going to call that good. I'm like, they're giving me a profile shot. Now, they're very good looking birds. <laughs> well, we're all excited about it. Got them both in the nest, hauling sticks and weaving them in there. And uh, what a great day for a video. And it's almost, uh, like I say, downtown Renton. We're just a little ways out of there. By 140th in uh, the Maple Valley. The male just landed over in the tree right next to the nest. So I'll see if there's any interaction. It didn't look like he had any fish or anything, so. But he is close by. I thought I'd get ready just in case he decides to come over to the nest. There she's preening up her feathers a little bit. Getting them feathers all cleaned up this morning. She's doing all this laying down, so whatever she's got, either eggs or very small babies. Oh yeah, she's doing a makeover now. Gives us a good opportunity for a video. There she's looking around. Whenever an airplane goes over, they look, they're very alert. Said the male had flown into the tree next to her and the dead tree. No, oh, he's about 50 feet away over another. Now that's her calling from the nest. see what he does he may just fly off of here she's trying to tell him something well, I just heard a woodpecker there he goes again with our male bald eagle oh there he goes well here's mom eagle with her baby she is head there and her head in the sunshine like she might be thinking about giving him a little snack here. He's two weeks old. Yeah, he's at least two weeks now. 
They just have the one chick. All right, look, he's stretching his little wings up there. There his head comes up. Look at this guy. <laughs> he says, Mom, I want me a bite of that. He wants a little snack here. Yeah, she's getting a little tidbit for him. The maid had brought in a fish, and now she's giving him a little snack. Well, let's see what she's going to do here. She's just kind of walking around here a little bit. We'll just kind of see what's going on here. We've been waiting for a while to get a good video of these babies, and uh, by golly, we finally got some sunlight and we're able to uh, make a video of it. Yeah, it looks like she's still uh, working on the fish. And the little guy, well, he's just enjoying the sunshine now. Maybe I should uh, check around with me. I'll back off a little bit here. There we go. There she is. She's rearranging a little bit of the bedding in the nest, getting things squared away. Here she steps over here. And, oh, yeah. I'm kind of blocking the view of them now a little bit must have decided that's time for breakfast. They're waiting for Papa to probably bring in a fresh one. There you can see his little head and his eye. Look at that. He's getting to be a big guy. Oh, yeah. Well, birds of prey grow very fast. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. You can see his beak in his eye. Yeah, he got a little snack there waking up. Yeah, you look at his head compared to Mom's there. He's a pretty good size already. All the other birds are chirping and singing a little bit here. There's his little head. Look at him. Mom, I need more fish. There he's going to look how big he's getting. That is a big baby. We've waited a long time to see this guy. <laughs> Now he's starting to get a little darker, see, he's not snow white anymore. And he'll slowly turn black, and he'll be uh, black, and before he gets his white head like the adults, it'll be about five, six years. But see, he's starting to get a little dark under his neck and around on his head. But in another week or so, he'll be just totally black. And it's just amazing the transformation these birds go through and the rapid growth. The size is phenomenal. There's a good profile on her, and there's a little guy. Oh yeah, get him directly in the sunlight, we'll get a good view of him. There he is, he's checking everything out here. What a great day to come down and get a video of this guy. There he's moving around a little bit, stretching his wing out. Well, here's our baby. He's getting to be big. He's sitting right next to Mama. You can see the heads are about the same. Now he's trying to show us his other end. Oh, yeah, he's going to turn around. Yeah, I'm amazed at how big he is. He's going to let one go here. That's how he keeps the nest clean. Now you can see the Mama's yellow beak there. He just had crawled up to the edge there, and we got a good view of his head, so... He's definitely a good sized baby. He's not pure white anymore. He's kind of a charcoal gray now. And there he's going. Yeah, he's going to preen up. Got his head turned around there, doing the back of his wings and on his back. It doesn't take much. You know, every three days, these guys really change. The growth is phenomenal. Look at that guy. Like I said, his head is uh, getting close to about the same size as hers. He's, uh, she's behind the tree now, and he's just kind of preening up. All right, well, let's see. We'll let him look around. Maybe we'll see Papa holler and come in by here with a fish or something. We can come in a little more. There he got a profile on him. Look at that. Yeah. Well, there he is. Guy's mouth open. Might be a little bit warm there. And there's Mama's head. She's staying close to him and uh, probably just got done feeding him a fish. That's her main diet. Yeah, there's her head next to his. So he's got a little bit to go for. His head's as big as hers. 
but he's definitely growing. He's in that charcoal. There's our young bald eagle. Look at this guy. Now he's showing off. Look how big his beak is and his wing. He says it's a hot one and I'm going to cool my wings off. Look how big those wings are. My goodness. See, he's about the same size as the adults now. But he's just uh, in his juvenile plumage. I don't know when he'll fly, but it shouldn't be, you know, a week or so. They'll exercise. They stay in the nest for quite a while, even though they're big. But take, they'll be exercising and ex. Well, here's our young bald eagle having breakfast. Saw Mama fly in. I think it looked like a snake or something. Anyway, it wasn't that big, and she dropped it off in the nest. She's over in her tree now. And he's eating away. Well, oh, look at the size of his beak now. This guy has really grown. I'll back off a little bit. There we go. Well, it could have been a remains of a fish too, but it looked pretty thin. Anyway, whatever it is, he's enjoying it. Well, it's been a couple of days since we got a video of him. We've got filtered light this morning and uh, this guy is looking pretty good. Oh yeah, let's see what he's got there. It almost looked like some fur there or something. So that was something that Mama had caught for him. He's finishing it up. You can see how dark the feathers are getting now, and uh, he's fully feathered on the wings and primaries. And last time we were here, he had quite a bit of downy feathers underneath, and he's getting all those squared away. I first showed up today, he was laying down in there sleeping, so. And when I uh, was getting ready to leave, I saw her fly in, so then I got set up quick. And uh, when we get to see this guy eating for the first time right up front, here we get a pretty good view of him. And this is our, oh yeah, he's taking it over to the edge. This is our bald eagle youngster. Enjoying the breakfast here. Like I say, the adult is in the tree over there where she fishes, right above the Cedar River. She's on her perch, so if a fish goes by, she'll dive down. Oh yeah, I can see the tail feathers today. Look at that. Getting everything is coming in just fine. He's kind of looking over towards his mama now. What a great deal this is. I can hear him calling a little bit. Well, it looks like he's just about finished eating. Well, here's one of our adult bald eagles right next to the nest. Baby's in there preening and she's over here. She's got her wing just kind of drying off. Tells me she must have made a dive in the river and got a fish earlier and she's just drying off. She's looking over towards the west. We'll see if uh, she'll turn around. Now the mate is sitting behind the trunk of the tree. So they're both hunting the Cedar River this morning. And the baby, well, he's in there. Well, if you can call him a baby, he's about as big as they are now. The juvenile, there you can see her profile. The juvenile's in the nest preening up and, uh, and is the same size as the adults. Oh yeah, rousting up, look at that. All spread out here and drying off the feathers. How great is that? Well, we come down here early and you can really see some great things. Now she's going to dry off and preen a little bit. It's a great spot for eagle watching. We're just right on the Maple Valley Highway. 169 and 140th way southeast. Renton, Washington, right across from the golf course. And it's just a great time to come down. They have one chick this year and the nest is right here and easy to find and you get all these great views of this bird. It's fantastic. All right, we'll call that pretty much good then. See if he'll do the eagle dance for us. He's just kind of waking up. He's looking over there towards Mama. He's anticipating a fish dinner here or fish meal. Got pretty good sunlight. 
There he goes, gonna show off them wings. Look how big, now he's doing the eagle dance. Check this out, look at that wonderful size of them wings. See, he's trying to exercise those muscles so he can uh, be ready for the day when he takes that first flight. And like I said, we don't know when that's gonna be, but he sure is looking good. Yeah, he's gonna show off a little bit now. Oh yeah, he's uh, gonna dance a little more for us here. Flap those big wings, look at that. Absolutely wonderful. We have good lighting and this eagle here is thinking about flying and exercising and just showing off those wonderful wings. His favorite call. Now oh, here's the wings again. Check this out. A little more flapping here and jumping up and down and showing off. Looking really good. Our lighting is really good. Exercising those wings, getting everything strong now. This is a big chick now, full grown. You can see the thigh feathers are colored in now. He doesn't look like he's wearing bloomers anymore with the white feathers. How wonderful is that? There he's calling. He's wanting a little little snack, I think. He's hoping Mama will hear him. We'll keep our eye on him. He's looking up. Yeah, he's looking up and down the river trying to see. Him. Oh, yeah, Mama flew by. That's what he's calling. I see her in the air now. She's turning and coming back. So let's see what the interaction here is going to be. All right, Mama's overhead. I think he sees her. He's looking up. She's circling around. You know she's around here somewhere. There he sees her off in the distance. She kind of slipped by him a little bit. Yeah, he sees her. She's way off in the distance now, so... He's got that disappointed look. Where's my fish? Oh, there's his wings. Look at that. Now he's going to exercise. Look at this guy, would you? He's caught the breeze now. Oh, yeah. Look how big those wings are. Isn't that wonderful? A bald eagle. Right down here. Renton, Washington, across from the golf course. Just about ready to fledge. Look at the size of them wings in a perfect spot. He's doing the wing dance now. All right, that's what we've been waiting for. How wonderful was that? Oh yeah, he's gonna spread them out again here. But he feels that wind in his wings that energizes him and he flaps them and strengthens up, so... Well, that was great. Now he's kind of settling down again. Facing into the wind. Oh, he's going to do it again. Look at this guy. Oh, he's attracted the crow's attention now. <laughs> yeah, he looks really good. That's absolutely wonderful. We were waiting for that. Oh, yeah, he's checking everything out. Now he's grabbing with his feet, testing out his talons. There's his wings again. Look at this guy. Now he's pumping them. There we go. Grabbed on tight with his talons so he doesn't sail out. Give it a couple exercise beats there. Oh, yeah. He looks really good here. He's a really magnificent bird. We're just so happy to have this spot here to make videos. He's been showing off really good. There you can see the white feathers under his wings too, so. There he goes. He hopped back down in the nest now. I'll back off a little bit. And there he is flapping in the nest, exercising, so. He came back to the safety of the nest now, so he's done with his exercise session. 
He's in there looking for food scraps, so he's hungry. He's waiting for Mama to bring him something. Well, here's our young bald eagle. He's left the nest tree now. He's sitting over here, oh, about 50 yards from the nest tree in a, on a dead limb looking for the adults. I heard them call earlier. They're out trying to catch a fish. And he's all proud of himself. He can fly now, so he... Uh, sleeps up in the nest tree at night and then in the morning flies over here and they still feed him in the nest and he goes back there. But he's uh, coming along really good. He's fledged now and he's found himself a favorite tree to sit in and he can watch everything, see the fish in the river and watch the adults. So he's just sitting out here now in the, in the early morning sunlight and he's keeping an eye on everything. Oh yeah, now look at him look. I think he sees one of the adults. And we're lucky we may see him spread his wings, but he's definitely uh, checking things out. He heard her call earlier, so there he's looking. We've been watching this eaglet here for all season, ever since spring when they first put in the eggs. See what he's going to do here now. Oh yeah, he's going to flop them wings a little bit. Check this out. Yeah. Maybe we'll get lucky and see him fly out of here. But uh, adults have been calling and he's been keeping an eye out for him. So it's about time for his breakfast. So he wants to uh, be right in the right spot. There he's looking again. Look at that, would you? Showing off those wonderful wings there. Yeah, he's grown into a good looking eagle. Good, healthy, bald eagle here. And able to fly from the nest tree over here now and back and forth so he's got his wings all strong and ready to go they only had one this year so but he seems to be quite healthy so they took really good care of him and uh, he's well fed we know that all right then we'll call that good There he's calling to Mama. He's wanting some bright there he flies. All right, going back to the nest tree. Well, here's our peregrine on the hunt. She's down here by uh, the Heritage Farms. Got a couple of merlins hunting the area, and about three kingfishers are trying to chased the merlins away and the falcon. The falcon was up in the tree with her mate over here. And this might be a juvenile here. Yeah, I think we have a juvenile peregrine hanging around here. I don't know. The feet are kind of yellow, but it's got the stripes. Now they're chasing kingfishers again. And we also have two merlins in the area. There he comes around again. They're buzzing around here just hunting the area. And they've been playing. We've got the Merlin and the Peregrine Falcon and the Marsh Hawk. Well, we've got two, actually two Merlins and this Peregrine Falcon and the Marsh Hawk. They're all doing flight maneuvers here. So we're having a good time. Anyway, we're uh, down by the horse track. Kent, Washington, by the Heritage Farm. Yeah, we're checking these guys out and seeing the kind of excitement we can have here with the birds of prey. They're really displaying and flying, having a good time today. Chasing each other, and it's more or less look like play, but the Merlins were serious. They're trying to catch something. All right. our osprey. We're just kind of hunting around here next to the Green River. We're down by the Heritage Farm. Frager Road South and 
South 204th Street. There's a turnaround here, and that's where we're at. And he's uh, looking down in the river looking for a fish. We got our sunlight behind us here, and it's coming in pretty good. It was uh, sprinkling, had some showers earlier today, but now it's cleared off. So we're happy to find this osprey here just sitting on the post right next to the riverbank. You see him looking intently in there. The salmon are running now, so I hear him calling. He might have a mate sitting up in the pole. But anyway, this guy's looking pretty good here. We'll keep an eye on him and uh, I'll back off, see if we can see the river, let you get an idea where he's at here. I'm using my cannon here. There's the Green River. That's his little perch there. And here we are, uh, right at the turnaround. I'm parked. I'll come back in. This is a hot spot. We see a lot of birds in this area. Peregrines and Coopers and everything hangs out here. A couple of Merlins. Yeah, he just a looking. Look at this guy. Come in a little more, I think. There he is. He wants to get a fish. There's our red tail calling. He's in that spot there, in the thicket, where the Cooper and the Merlin and the Kestrel always hunt, and the Peregrine. You see a bird next to her too, so. They have a nest not far, there she goes. They raised two youngsters this year, and we know right where the nest is. All right then, we'll see if we can locate one of the Coopers. Yeah, there we have the Merlin and the Kestrel hunting together. Kestrel just flew. They're hunting these little birds. He's coming back now. He landed right up on top. There's our Merlin flying. Took out after some birds. Our Kestrel's still here. He's turning around, coming back. There he just zoomed around by the Kestrel. And there he's landed. They're both in the same tree again. How cool is that? They're in the same tree hunting the little birds. Merlin just took out and made a flight and came back, and the Kestrel did the same. The Kestrel's above and the Merlin's below. I'll see if I can zoom in on them. But they're hunting these goldfinches that are hanging out here. All right, there he goes again on another chase. All right, now we have the Kestrel and the Merlin flying together. All right, now the Kestrel's coming back. The Merlin's going across the field. There's our Kestrel. All right. Well, here is our Kestrel. She took over the perch and sitting here just preening up. She's enjoying the perch. I'll back off. I think there's a stellar jay right above her there. There we go. Just flew. A stellar jay flew out. And here's our Kestrel. Look at that, just kind of posing and enjoying the weather. You can see all the good markings on the side of her head there and her brown feathers on her back. I don't see the Merlin in the tree. They were hunting together, so. She hunts little birds and uh, grasshoppers, dragonflies, of course any little vole or mouse too. So she's uh, checking everything out here. 
Got a little bit of a breeze. See the limb swaying there and she's checking out the area for her food. We got a wetland here, got a lot of the dragonflies and some grasshoppers, small birds. She's mainly interested in the rodents, voles and small meadow mice, things like that. You got a little bit of a breeze picking up now. There's a pair of them. She has a friend she hunts with, it's a Merlin. I saw them working together the other day, so. Oh yeah, I can see when the wind blows the tree, she keeps her head in one spot and her body goes up and down. See how that works? It's amazing, isn't it? That way when they're watching something, their whole body can go up and down, but their head stays in one spot and they can stay focused. Yeah, I think we'll check around and see if we can locate some of the other birds. Okay, he's looking over his shoulder. He's wondering where that kestrel went. I can hear him flying around, calling. He's just sitting up here on his favorite perch where all the little goldfinches are. And He's kind of tired. He's been chasing some flickers. Now he's decided to preen up a little bit, work on his feathers and get in shape. He got his head bobbing. He sees something over there. It's one of our favorite places. It's the hot spot down by Kent, Washington. We also have Peregrine Falcon that hangs out in the area. We see him on a regular basis. There's uh, Cooper Hawks, Sharp Shins, Kestrels. And of course we've got our Red Tails and Marsh Hawk. Oh yeah. There we go. He's going to preen up some. Look at this guy. Do some more preening here. Fan that, look at him stretch. Isn't that wonderful? What a beautiful stretch. The leg wings up, look at that. What a wonderful bird. Give us a great video like that. My goodness, we like that. Yeah, this is our Merlin. We're so happy to find him. He did his preening and he's stretching now. And Looks like he's checking everything out. He might be just about ready for the hunt. Showing us a good profile there. Our lighting is good. We got a slight breeze and there's plenty of birds around for him to chase and dragonflies and grasshoppers. Oh yeah, he's just a looking to the left, looking to the right, bobbing his head a little bit. He's got his mind on prey now. He's ready for action here. He wants to go hunt. Look at this guy. He's very alert. Okay, he's, there he goes. He's off on the flight. He's chased a couple birds. Boy, they took off too. Coming right over. What a great bird. Well, here's our Merlin hunting. And his friend the Kestrel is helping him out. They flew over here. They're trying to catch some flickers. And there's a couple of stellar jays around. Oh yeah, there goes the Merlin. Now he's after he's after the flicker. You heard him holler. He's making a curve and he's coming by me right now. He's very agile. All right. Here's our Merlin getting ready for his next flight. Kestrel came back and joined him. He's been really chasing these flickers. There he goes again. That's that flicker hollering for his life. Merlin's circling around. He's coming back to the perch. 
Merlin back on his perch again, getting ready for the next round. He's watching, mainly flickers he's hunting today. He's had a couple of close calls, I'll tell you. But he's made several passes at them. You can hear them screaming when they take off. Yeah, he has a good system here on the corner. He flies over here and there's a yard, two houses and the kind of open uh, yard there. You can catch, chase the flickers. He's got the big dead snag he hunts out of and then this tree here. This little short bush at this end and the higher perch over on the other side. When he comes off the high perch, he's got great speed through here. He's just barely missed them. Then he rings up, circles around a little bit and flies over here in this perch here. He's just uh, taking a little break. He's made about 10 passes and we've really been having quite a great bird watching session today of this Merlin. And of course he has a little friend the Castro for some reason hanging around with him. And we find that quite interesting. Now normally when we come down we know there's, there's a pair of uh, Merlins here and there's a pair of Kestrels. So, but anyway, they probably know each other because both territories overlap and they're getting along just fine. He's keeping a sharp eye out, a lot of prey around. Definitely on the hunt. He's getting a little bit of a breeze. He's hunting the flickers and any other bird that moves. Like he's trying to rest a little bit now. He's had several good flights. He is definitely looking. He's going to preen a little bit. See that little white stripe at the tip of his tail? He's got some fine stripes, gold bars on his tail too. You can see them when they're up close. It's a serious hunting business for this guy. He's paying attention to every bird that moves. They will catch uh, the dragonflies and the grasshoppers also. But we're having great fun watching him chase the flicker. There he goes again. Let's see what he's after. Oh yeah. He just chased a dove off the roof. Our Merlin's coming back to the tree. He landed a little bit lower. Let's see if we can get in on him. There he is. He had quite the hunt there. Well, we'll just keep an eye on him. He made a pass at a dove. There was a morning dove and uh, he darn near got it. So he made a couple of circles around, chased as far as he could and the dove went to cover so circle around came back to his perch and there he goes on the next hunt. See he's a busy guy. Well here's a stellar jay and a merlin in the same tree. Merlin's obviously caught something and he's eating it and the stellar jay is just kind of keeping an eye on him. Well how often do you see that? Well we'll see what this merlin has here. Ah, success. Our little bird caught something. It looked like it probably was a dragonfly. He just finished it up. You can see some of the colors on him now. This was an insect he had for a snack. I think it was a dragonfly. He's back on his lower hunting perch now. The stellar jays are coming in close. There's a couple of them in the tree next to him. Yeah, he's cleaning up his beak there. Getting some good sunlight now. Well, we'll see how he acts now. He's got a little bit of a snack, a little fuel in his belly now. Like I said earlier, he's been really chasing them flickers. That's the main birds he's been chasing today, so... We're just going to enjoy this guy sitting here in this great perch. We get a good view of him. The sunlight's good now. He looks like he's in pretty good focus. There he's bobbing his head. And like I say, he did get a little snack, so he might just uh, sit here long enough for us to make a little bit of a movie of him. Well, we were rooting for him. Oh yeah, that flash there was a stellar day that came by. Now 
His little uh, Kestrel buddy was flying by too earlier. Okay, he's got two Stellar Jays in the tree with him. They've landed now. Back off a little bit so you can see them. There they are. You can see the size of the Merlin and the Stellar Jays. They're fairly close, so that'll give you an idea how big the Merlin is because. You get plenty of chances to see the Stellar Jays, but you don't see that many Merlins. So here is a good comparison in the tree. And you can see they're almost the exact same size. But they can't fly like this guy. This little Merlin is a little fighter pilot. He was zooming around here. He was very impressive. Looked like a miniature peregrine. Several stoops he'd ring up. And you'd hear them flickers hollering, help, help. They were trying to get out of the way. Yeah. I imagine it was a pretty scary situation for him. I'll come back in on him now a little bit. There we go. There's our buddy. Ah, he got his tail in here. There we go. There he is, enjoying the sunshine. And there he goes. He's off on the next hunt now. There he goes. He's coming around the clubhouse turn, going up along the fence. He scared out a flicker, and he's coming back. You can hear him hollering, he's scaring them to death. He's going off to our left now, he's circling around. All right. Here's our Merlin hunting. Making a few passes at the flickers. Made several good passes today. He's got a Merlin kind of hanging out. There he goes again, another pass. He's really quick. Now the Stellar Jay has come in where the Merlin was. The Merlin flew out and the Stellar Jay took his perch and the Merlin's over here chasing the Flicker. Sounds like a close call. The Flicker's making a racket. All right, we'll keep an eye on him. All right, the Merlin came back in right where I had it set before. There he is. Like he's having a, quite the time today. Now well, there he is. He's just getting all set up. Back on his hunting perch, getting ready for the next flight. You can see the wind blowing a little bit. We definitely got a hungry Merlin today. He is chasing the flickers and everything else. There's some stellar jays in the area. But his main thing we see him chasing now was the flickers. And he's made several passes at them. That's our little Merlin. Usually he has a mate that hunts with him. I hear a woodpecker or something. There he goes. He's after the flicker again. You can hear the flicker. Oh yeah, he's stretching now. Look at this guy. Oh yeah, our Merlin doing the stretch. Look at that one. Probably getting ready for another hunt. What a great bird. This is one of his favorite hunting spots. It comes down here on a regular basis. Yeah, we enjoy watching him. He's watching all the little birds. And several of the little birds hang out here. That's why he's here. We got really good lighting today. Now he looks like he's going to preen up a little bit. Yeah, he's had quite a hunt today, so he's had a, a good stretch here in the tree, and now he's going to do a little preening up. Oh yeah, he's reaching around there, getting all square. Got his chest feathers all fluffed out, his breast feathers. And, you can see now that the wings come almost to the tip of the tail there. 
known as long wings. And when he was flying after those flickers, you could really see how agile this bird is. Very good hunter. This is our Merlin. We're certainly glad to find him today. We got to watch the hunting display there with him for about 20 minutes. Of course, it's too fast for us to film on the flight, but we got him in and off his perches. Oh, yeah. What a great day to be making a Merlin down here and <laughs> video. Preening up in the sunshine, our lighting looks pretty good. We've seen this bird several times in the past, but never got this close, and, and this is the hot spot. We're on uh, Fragger Road South and South 204th Street, and we're just south of the Heritage Farm horse track. We're about oh, eighth of a mile west of the horse track on South 204th Street. And this is really the hot spot. We have seen Coopers in here, Merlins, Sharp Shins, Peregrine Falcons, uh, Kingfishers, many, many kinds of birds. But there's like a little pond in these bushes right below him. And that's why all the small birds are here. We have many raptors come in here and hunt. Well, here we have two exhibitors. They're hunting together. These are juveniles. They're probably siblings from the same nest. And I think they're uh, both male immature cooper hawks because I see they had their hackles up. I did a close up on the lower one. But I wanted to uh, let it run from this angle here and from this distance so we can see the small birds flitting around. Keep an eye on them. There you can see a couple birds. They land actually pretty close to him. <laughs> there he goes after one. Oh yeah, he moved over a couple limbs. All right then. We'll check out this other one here. Here, I see his sibling has moved over closer now, so I'll back off. Maybe we'll get them both in the same uh, video here. He's just sitting above him a little bit. There he is. Yeah, his sibling is up and to the left on the limb there. But they're trying to catch these little birds, and uh, the little birds are <laughs> coming in, kind of teasing them a little bit. Now, it looks like this one wants to preen up a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'll come in on There you go. Yeah, you can see the bars on his tail now and the spots on his back. But he's still keeping a sharp eye out for the, uh, <laughs> for those little birds. He wants to make one of those his lunch, so I'll back off a little bit. Oh yeah, he's gonna relieve himself. Now he'll fly, yep. And he hopped up a little bit there. He went over and uh, joined his buddy. Super hawks. They're hunting small birds in the thicket here. They're hunting together. You can tell by the spots on their back and they can put their hackles up. Oh yeah, see they're chasing these birds around now. They're kind of playing, doing little aerial maneuvers here. All right. That's a beautiful bird. There he's looking up. Because see the little birds, they land up in the limbs above them. You can see them flit by. <laughs> Gives him quite a bit of entertainment, and then he sharpens his hunting skills. Well, we got some ducks took off. Yeah, Cooper hawks off. Now there's a bird right below him. See that? <laughs> See what he thinks about that. It's right below the, the hawk there on the limb. He's tried to catch him before, so this bird here is uh, not too much scared of that Cooper Hawk. <laughs> there he flew away. And he's looking over there to see for an opportunity on one of these little guys, these little birds. He uh, 
Seems very content. He likes this hunting area because there's many small birds in the thicket. They're eating the buds on the tree here, and he's thinking about, well, maybe I can catch one of those. And he's on the hunt. A lot of little birds flitting around. He's found him a good spot where all the little birds are feeding, and uh, he's looking for the opportunity to try to catch one. You see the little birds fly by every once in a while. He's just looking every which way. There you get a good profile on him. See those white spots on his back and the bars on his tail. And he looks to the left and the right. Oh, there's the other one come back to join him. So that's his sibling. There you go. He was off hunting in a different spot. There we go. Now you can see uh, the two of them together. Like I say, they're siblings and they probably hatched out of the same nest and they came to the thicket here and they've been hunting together. Well, we'll see if we can uh, see some of the little birds flit by. But they have pretty good success when they hunt together. And then, of course, later on, then they'll be hunting solo, but they're used to being in the nest and working together and they're doing just fine, so. All right then, I think we'll call that good. Well, looks like he wants to preen up. Oh yeah, he's gonna do a little clean up here. You see him turn his head around and see his tail, look at that, would you? Pulls the feather through his beak there, kind of straightens everything out. His siblings flying around chasing the other birds. And this guy here is keeping a close eye on it. You can see some of the little guy birds fly by. He has some nice big white spots on the back. That's how you spot the juveniles. They have the streak of chest. Oh yeah. It's a good looking bird here. It's got a really good perch. He's gonna preen up. His hackles up, showing us the spots on the back of his wings. And you can see the bars on the tail from the back. So when he turns around, well, then you can see the bars are really uh, lighter. And you get him from the front side this time, still in the thicket hunting, the birds are flitting by. You see the nice markings on the breast and the bars on the tail from the underside. Looking very alert here. A lot of little birds flitting around. And he's sitting here on the perch, hoping to catch one of them. That's a sibling that went off hunting too. He should be coming back, but they were hunting together here. You can see him looking every which way and little birds go by every now and then so we're lucky he's giving us the front side now he's going to preen up a little bit check this out i get that tail squared away we like it when they preen we have a great spot here it's uh always going to scratch up a little bit we got filtered light today and this is a male cooper hawk, and he's sitting here uh, waiting for his sibling to come back. And they've been hunting together these small birds, and I guess it works for them. They must catch it every once in a while, so they're uh, probably out of the same nest here. So anyway, he's looking all over now, looking over his shoulder. He was preening a little bit, trying to figure out where his sibling went. 
and keep an eye on all the other little birds that are in the thicket. Well, he's going to preen a little more here. But you can see they have the long tail with the stripes on it. And that's an accipiter. And, uh, this is a juvenile, very close, uh, look very much the same as the uh, sharp shin hawk, only the sharp shin is smaller. But the thing is, the sharp shin cannot put the hackles up on the back of the head. So, oh, we'll watch this guy preen up a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's looking up. Looking up on top. Yeah, that's because his little birds are above him. That's why he turned his head upside down. Oh, yeah, he's going to preen up now. He wants to get all them feathers in shape now and show off his tail, all the bars in the tail and his wing. We'll just keep a close eye on this guy. Oh, yeah, he's. Got him a good perch here. You can see the spots on the back of his wings and streaks on his chest. And you can notice there when he puts the hackles up on the back of his head. So, like I said, that's how you can tell the Cooper Hawk from the Sharp Shin because the Sharp Shin cannot put those hackles up. And he's going to stretch his foot a little bit and put it up under there. He's very alert because he's looking at all those little birds that are flitting around. And he wants to make one of those a uh, little snack. The sharp shin's eye is a little bit bigger for the head than the Cooper Hawk, so that's one other way you can tell. If the eyeball looks a little bit big for the bird, that's uh, probably a sharp shin then, and the fact that they will not put their hackles up. Well, it's a great day for bird watching. We're down here, we got filtered light. There's plenty of little birds going on. And uh, like I say, we've got a pair of Cooper Hawks here, juveniles, they're siblings, and they were hunting together. And oh yeah, he's looking up again at them little birds and the twigs above him. Well, I think we'll call that pretty much good then. Well, here's our great blue heron. He's fishing down here in Kent, Washington. On uh, Fragger Road South and South 204th Street. And this is our great blue heron. And he's right there by the water trying to catch the little minnows. And he's standing perfectly still. I just happened to see him when I was driving by. I turned around, I'm using my window mount on my car. And he's just sitting there, just as still as he can be, and waiting for a fish to swim around in that uh, little bit of water he's there. And he'll snap out his beak and catch one of those minnows. We have several uh, herons here. Saw an osprey earlier. And many other birds in the area. This is our great blue heron. Now, uh, last year we saw a green heron in this same spot fishing. So today we got the great blue heron, and one of our other movies we had the green heron here. So that's because of the little fish that swim around. It's a good spot for them to catch something. All right then. Just hoping to see him snap his neck out and catch something, but it doesn't look like it. We'll, we'll see if we can locate another bird. Well, there's our red tail hunting. We're down by South Center. He's on a post here. He's been here for a while looking down. Looks like an immature red tail. He's out hunting. And we're down by the Boeing Aerospace. We get a little bit closer to the South Center area. And this red tail decided to uh, sit on this post and see if he can find a rodent. I happened to notice him when I was driving by, so I turned around and pulled in here. We got a little bit of breeze. You can see the cattails waving there. 
got a very good spot on this post and uh, he's been looking very intently down here so I thought, well the sun's right I'll just set up with my uh, window mount on my car and see if I get a good video it looks like he's cooperating pretty good I was hoping to get in and see him pounce down See how he's got his head cocked there? He's watching everything, but you can tell by the tail this is a juvenile. And he probably one of those that hatched out over there by the heritage farm with the horse track. There's a nest of them over there. I did see the peregrine earlier today in this tree over there too hunting, so. Anyway, I'm just making the rounds. Part of a little bird watching trip here and oh yeah he's still checking it out he wants to see if he can catch himself a little snack there there's our green heron he's just standing just as still as he can trying to become invisible his head there. Beautiful colors. They call them the green heron. And they nested over at the Boeing Aerospace Facility at Tapan this year. And now they've moved over here just west of the Green River and west of the Heritage Farm. Looks like you might see a fish. He's getting excited here. We'll come back a little bit. See what he's up to. I think he's going to try to catch a minnow. He's looking down now. They pay attention to the dragonflies when they go by also. That's a handsome bird. We're lucky to find him. It's a green heron. I'll get back here so I can see his little hunting area. He's got a little waterfall there and the minerals come by and he stands there and catches them. Very peaceful. Well, there's minerals in there. I'll come back in again. There he is, showing off his features, a little yellow around the eye there. Very good looking bird. There's a yellow eye also in that yellow stripe right next to it. They resemble the American bittern, but when you get to looking at the two, there's quite a bit of difference. But about the same size, they got the brown marks. Alright then, back off again. There we are. Green Heron, down in Kent, Washington, not far from the Heritage Farms. All right. Well, here's our great blue heron. We're right there by the Heritage Farm, down in Kent, Washington. He's up in the big fir tree here, right above Mr. O'Connell's house, and he's printing up. I came down today to check on our birds. We've got a couple of merlins in the area, and a juvenile peregrine falcon, a couple of kestrels, and there's two cooper hawks still hunting together. So I try to come down fairly early so I can get in on the hunting and. Uh, Happened to see this blue heron sitting up here. And this is the same tree where the bald eagles like to sit. So I thought I'd make a little video of it. And the peregrine falcons are back on the Boeing Aerospace building. They're sleeping there every night now again, so. 
This is the hot spot for bird watching. I'm actually on the west side of the Green River on Fragger Road South and South 204th Street. And that's the hot spot for bird watching now. I'm right next to the Heritage Farm. This guy just kind of sitting up here enjoying it. Alright then, we'll see if we can locate another bird. There's plenty of them in the area. I want to locate the two Merlins. They've been hunting down here in a little thicket with a lot of small birds. There's our Kestrel looking at a bird that landed right below her. She's just kind of enjoying her perch today. I should back off. I think I could pick it up there, but that's what she's looking at. I saw it fly in. We're enjoying the filtered light. And we're kind of keeping an eye out for the sharp shins. They come here and the, there's a pair of merlins also to hunt this spot. So we're going to try to see if we can locate them. All right, there's more birds right below her. I'll back off a little bit. There we go. They've been flitting around in there. Now well, they left now. All right, well, we'll come back in then. There's our girl. Anyway, it's a wonderful spot. Now it looks like it's going to preen up a little bit. Got some lovely rusty feathers on her shoulders there and white marks on her head and bars on her tail. Oh yeah. She's going to do a little preening session here. Find that in there. And then, like I say, there's been uh, few insects go by and some small birds so we also had a hummingbird come by so we're going to keep an eye on her for a little bit then we're going to look for the merles oh yeah she's going to scratch her head up now <laughs> all right well i hear the birds chirping so the wetland is coming to life now and We'll see what other kind of birds of prey we can find. There she goes. She's on the hunt. Well, here's our Merlin down by the Boeing Pond. The peregrine's on his ledge, and this little Merlin's hanging out here by the pond on a dead twig there. And we're all excited about it. Yeah. Glad to see that the peregrine's back, and we've been look, looking for the Merlin, and surprised to find him sitting here. So we're kind of excited about it. All right, he's looking every which way. Let's see if I can come in a little closer on him. There you go. I can see the markings on his face. A beautiful bird. We looked uh, for Merlins over on Canyon Road and couldn't find any, but we see a pair of these guys that hang around here uh, all winter and now uh, just happy to see this guy. Makes it very interesting, looking kind of over here now. Oh, he's just the bobbin, he said. He's looking for something to chase, I think. Doesn't look like his crop is full. He's pretty flat on his chest, so he looks like he's hungry. All right, then. See if I can uh, refocus here. Well, it's our marsh hawk printing up. Sunshine came out. And that kind of energized her to clean up her feathers. She's on one of her favorite poles now. And just to clean it up here, preening up, getting that tail. They got a lot of white on their body there. You're really distinctive when you see them flying. And they fly low with their wings in the dihedral position, and they're the marsh hawk. They fly low, catching things. And uh, we've seen her here on several occasions, but we've never got her sitting still long enough on a pole where we could actually get a good video. So if she's going to preen up, well, we're happy about that. There are many birds in the area now, and. Uh, we look for the peregrines down here. There's a pair of them that hunt ducks here. We have the marsh hawk here. We have Merlin that hunts here. 
And of course we got red tails and cooper hogs, but we're all excited about our pair of peregrine falcons. They sleep on the Boeing Aerospace Building. We're just on the west side of the Green River, just a little ways from the KOA campground. Just a short hike for bird watching, and it's a wonderful spot. We got many birds here. We're down by the Heritage Farm. They have a horse track there. It's on Frager Road and two, South 204th Street. Right there on the corner is the hot spot. So we're all excited about it. Well, I think we'll call that good then. Well, we got a belted kingfisher cleaning up. Like he wants to do a little fishing this morning. Oh yeah, I saw him go down earlier and uh, catch a fish. Well, a little minnow, you know. It's our belted kingfisher. And he's a good looking bird. The sky is blue and he's preening up. And we're enjoying the opportunity to make a video of him. I'm just right after he dove down and got a little snack, now he's cleaning up. It's kind of cloudy this morning, so we're making our bird run. and just have to get lucky again with the kingfisher. We've seen the green heron down here also. And uh, so it's part of our route. We're on the uh, west side of the Green River, not far from the KOA campground in Camp Washington have a horse stable with a racetrack for the horses and that's where we're at. And this is really good lighting today. A blue sky and I got the, all the blue on this belted kingfisher and it looks just lovely. We're all excited about it. He's just a preening up on his wing and you can hear the ducks cackling away there. This is so lucky to find this bird. Been coming down here oh for a couple of months now. We're seeing many things. They have a pair of resident peregrine falcons that sleep on the Boeing Aerospace Building every night. So we're excited about that. We come down here. They hunt ducks in this area. And then there's a pair of red tails. There's some cooper hawks hang out. We've also seen merlins here. So and we saw a harrier the other day. So a female harrier, just uh, not far from this spot right here. Anyway, this is our belted kingfisher. Very nice looking bird. Very attractive, the coloring is good. We also saw a northern shrike about a week ago, but we want to get a video of that one, but he's hard to catch. It's a northern shrike, so we're keeping up with our bird watching in this area for sure. Well, he's looking kind of straight down. Maybe he'll dive down after another minnow. We're hoping to uh, see him fly off here. It doesn't take him long. We did get some good video of him preening, so maybe we'll call that good then. Well, there's our Shrike. down here by the Boeing Aerospace Facility. He's looking around, he's hunting. He's went to several trees already. Trying to find him some breakfast. Got a long beak with a hook on the end. Very interesting bird. It's a northern shrike. Got two kinds of shrikes here, one or the other. There he goes, see if he comes back. Well, here's a pair of bald eagles. We're down at uh, Kent, Washington, right next to the Green River. And these two love birds are sitting up here in the tree. They didn't locate their nest this spring, but we know they nest here somewhere, and this is their favorite perch. And they sit up here in the tree and they check out uh, the river for fish and salmon. And they're looking around really intent here. We have some nice sunshine today and uh, they decide to sit up the top of their tree and uh, 
look for some fish and if one comes in the river they'll just sail down and catch it. We had quite a bit of rain again last night but it looks like it's clearing off now so we're all excited about that. Get out and see what the birds are doing in the area. Like I say, we're just lucky we found these two bald eagles pair sitting up here in the top of the fir tree. We enjoy that very much. We had a green heron the other day. We're going to go down and see if we can locate him. And we saw the peregrine falcon yesterday taking a bath down by the Boeing Aerospace Building. So We're going to spend the day down here this afternoon, see if we can... Uh, find maybe a cooper hawk. We saw an immature cooper hawk a couple of days ago fly over and land on the pole, so we're trying to locate that one. This is a bald eagle looking over the shoulder here at us, so maybe we'll call that good then and uh, go over and see if we can locate some of the other birds of prey in the area. Anyway, these are a pair of bald eagles and we're happy to have found them, so a couple of good looking birds. We'll call that good then. I think I can zoom in. I'll try to zoom in a little more. Get on that one there. Oh yeah. I'll well, zoom in too much. Well that's fairly good there, so we'll call that good then. Over and out. Down here at the Boeing Pond, you can hear the geese calling, they're on the pond now. I'm down here looking for one of the immature cooper hawks. But I did see the peregrine falcon on the building, so I was walking in now. I'm going to make a movie of the peregrine falcon, and I found this flicker here. So I thought I'd make a little movie of that. Beautiful blue sky, and the sun is just right. Maybe try to zoom in a little bit more on it, see what we got here. There we go. Come down here just a little bit so get on his head. See what he looks like. Yeah, there he is. Trying to get in up close. This is our flicker. He just has shooting with my Sony camcorder. I have a 1.7 doubler zoom on it, or lens. I'll back off a little bit. There he is. It's quite powerful. I can go back quite a ways with it. Let me show you how it operates here. It's a good little camera. Look at that. All the way back, I pull him right in. There he is. Well, he's going to look around a little bit. You can see his beak there. Well, this is a good bird watching area. We get a lot of birds here ducks, geese, uh, cooper hawks, kestrels. And like I say, we have a peregrine falcon. There's a pair of them that sleep on the Boeing Aerospace Building every night, so thought I'd come down and make a little movie of it. Well, I think we'll call that good then. Over and out and enjoy the video. Well, here's our pair of them. Sitting on the post. There's a fence around the horse race track. So they exercise the horses. And she's down here looking for a duck. So. See if I can zoom in a little bit. There she is. The lighting's not too bad. And this is the female. We can tell by the shape of her cap on her head. Because we've been watching them for several years. The wind's picking up. Oh well, yeah, she's looking around. She's got her mind on a duck dinner, I think. So we're very happy to have found her. Let it run a little bit. We seen the guys uh, yesterday exercising the horses on the track. And there's a Merlin that hangs out here also, so that's why we're looking. And sure enough, we found her. So I'll just make a little short video of it. Oh yeah, the lighting's coming in pretty good now. It's a little bit windier than we like, but we have to put up with it. She's looking every direction. She's uh, checking out the little pond there, see if there's any ducks on there. There's some cinnamon teal on there the other day. And she's looking down there at something. 
it too. So. Well, I'm sure they'd take a rodent if they got the chance also. They got that beautiful gray back. I just love that color. She's all fluffed out, looks like, on the front. Feeling really secure with her perch here, looking around. So it's interesting when we see the male come in and they hunt together. She's looking up. She may be looking for him. because Their favorite duck hunting tree is not far away. It's just... 50 yards and they have uh, several spots here they use for hunting we did see them hunting together a couple of times there she is checking everything out well I think we'll call that good then we'll see if we can locate the male she's looking straight at me now She's pretty used to this car. It stops every time I find her, so <laughs> she's kind of familiar with it. All right, we'll call that good then. Well, here's our male Cooper Hawk. A great movie. He's had a rain last night, and these guys' tail all fanned out, and his wing down, drying off. We're on the west side of the Green River, down by the Boeing Aerospace Building. There's a barn here and there's a little racetrack for the horses and this is where they kind of warm them up or exercise them. I happened to be driving by and uh, seen this Cooper Hawk sitting here drying off. There's many starlings in there. He's hunting too. But he's drying his feathers off. You can see his tail's all fanned out. He's got his wing down. He's enjoying it very much here. And they're all excited that we happen to find him here sitting on the post. And it's uh, right on the edge of the track. It runs around He's about a quarter mile track. Oh, he's going to preen up. Look at this guy. He has the orange breast feathers. He's enjoying it very much. Got his wing out there. We've seen him for, oh, several weeks now. He's wintered out here in the area. We haven't seen the mate, though. But we're keeping an eye on it. We're hoping to see it show up. We're going to see if we can find, locate where they're nesting. Many good places here. There's many trees and groves down here along the river. So if we keep an eye on him long enough, we may be able to find out where the nest is and be able to make some good movies of that. But I was down here the other day and I seen the peregrine falcons working together chasing a duck and the flying together and a flock of seagulls. They were trying to get in there. But And then a day or so before that, we actually seen the male peregrine falcon catch a duck in midair. So that was very exciting. But today it's all about this Cooper Hawk here and <laughs> we're all excited about finding him. It rained pretty good last night and had a good windstorm. And uh, he obviously got a little wet and he's taking the opportunity now just to clean up. So it's a very handsome bird. Cooper Hawk is immature that hangs around the area also and uh, I haven't seen him in the past week or so. But we're down by the KOA campground in Camp Washington. Well, here's our juvenile green heron. We're back by the Green River down in Kent, Washington. Not far from the Boeing Aerospace, and you can see how camouflaged it is. This is his favorite spot. He was here yesterday catching minnows, and there he just caught one. Look at that, how quick he was. You see the fish in his beak? He bites a little bit, and then he swallows. He's very quick. Well, that's good. We got to see him catch a fish. And he's all happy with himself, so they're very well camouflaged. They stand very still. And when the minnow goes by, then he just snaps his neck out and catches him in the beak. So that's where they feed. This is a juvenile green heron. And we're not far from the Boeing Aerospace down in Kent, Washington. And this is the second day he's been here, so we're all excited about it. See if I can zoom in a little closer on him and well, we got to see him catch that fish. Yeah, they blend in really good with the grass. They have the wide feet so we can walk on the lily pads and, and foliage in the water. So that's why they have a big wide feet. So. Well, he's quite the hunter. We saw him catch the minnow. Well, I think we'll call that good then. Well, here's our juvenile green heron up close. See all the detail in his eyes, his beak, and his markings, nice yellow feet. He just caught a fish. Now he's moving his head slowly. Probably sees a minnow. Well, it's 
thrust his beak, neck and beak out and catch one. Okay, looks like he's getting ready. We'll see what happens here. Maybe we'll see him catch a fish. If they stand very still, wait for the fish to get close, then they snap their neck out and catch the fish in their beak. Beautiful bird. Juvenile green heron. And they resemble the American bitter. But these are a little bit different color. Very good looking bird. With nice yellow eyes and feet. And a very efficient hunter. Try to come in a little closer. There you can see his eye. There he is up close. Well, here's our exhibitor preening up. Has very large white spots on the back. I, uh, I think it may be a sharp shin. I saw one the other day that had very large spots and this may be the same one. Anyway, we know it's an exhibitor, and there he is in the tree preening up. We've got the sunlight on our back and uh, it's coming in very good. I'd like to be able to get a little closer, but I don't want to spook the bird. And it was uh, sprinkling just a little bit earlier and was cloudy. As long as I got the sunlight and I'm set up here, I'll run it. And I'm thinking he's going to keep on preening. And now he's fanning out, drying off. Look at that. Got his foot up there. Going to put on a little show for us here. Well, how sweet is that? We got here just at the right time again. We've been wanting to make a movie of a sharp shin. And I think we got him. It's just unusual that they would have that larger white spots. And like I say, I saw him all oh, about a week or so ago when we were down here. And uh, we found that quite curious at that time also. But anyway, we've, uh, we're waiting for a sunny day. We're uh, down here also looking for the Merlin. And so we came down early and we found this guy here. And we're all excited about it. Well, he just kind of fanned out drying, giving us kind of a profile shot. I'm trying to see if his hackles are up. If he doesn't put his hackles up, it's probably the sharp shin, because they can't do that. But uh, I'm betting this is a sharpie. Anyway, he's having a good time drying off. He's got the tree. This is the same tree that the peregrines use off and on, too, when they hunt. So. That's one of the things, we we know where all the good perches are, and then we kind of check them out, and sure enough, here he's reaching around here, preening a little bit. Oh, yeah, look at that. He's going to do a little clean up here. We get to really see him. The sun's coming in good now, and oh, he's going to do the tail a little bit. Well, I'll just let it run. I've been wanting to get a good video of this guy. When we, uh, Oh, yeah. I'm still amazed at the size of these white spots on their back. I've seen many uh, exhibitors. I've never seen with spots that big. I'm quite curious about it. I'm kind of looking at the breast feathers. I think this may be a sub-adult. It's kind of got the orange feathers. That were, uh, it kind of looks through my small monitor, but they look like they have an orange tint to them. Oh, yeah, doing that tail all fanned out. Pull him through her beak. How great is that? That's what's nice about this area. We're just uh, down by the KO, KOA campground in Kent, Washington. We're on the west side of the Green River. Just go over the bridge, turn on Fragger Road, drive down to South 204th, and uh, then take another left there, and that's where the bird is at the end of that road. Down by the house down there, by the big pond, or the field. And yeah, there are certain places they like hunting and like I say, they hang around here. We're looking for the Merlins to hang out here. And uh, this guy is still hanging around hunting, so we're happy about that. There's also a marsh hawk that hangs out here, so we want to see if we can find him. We haven't got a video of that one yet. They have a beautiful coppery color. We're trying to get a video of that. But this guy here, Preening up, 
getting all dried off and cleaned up and enjoying the day so oh yeah well I think we'll call that good then now see if we can't sneak up a little closer to him all right then enjoy the video well, here's our red tail eating something down in the grass and flew over here to his favorite tree. He's not exactly giving us his best side, but we'll see what happens here when he might turn around. Yeah, he's trying to figure out what he got. He caught some kind of prey. We've seen him here many times. We come down the Frager Road. He's, uh, this is 204th and Frager, I believe. And, uh, there's two juvenile red tails and two adults that hang out here. And uh, this is his favorite tree and he's obviously caught something and he's eating it. So we'll let it run a little bit. We got good lighting and see what happens here. Said I'm not sure what he caught, but it could have been some kind of rodent. We're seeing a lot of birds. I've seen a nice blue heron earlier, made a video of that. The sky is just beautiful. It's blue. This guy's got a meal going on here. Still working on that, so I'm hoping to see him turn around a little bit. We actually seen a sharp shin earlier, and we we're uh, hoping to find him again now that the lighting got better and warmed up a little more. But he's left the area. There's a kind of a side view a little bit of the bird, cleaning his beak. Oh, yeah, nice side view of him. Looks like he might be done eating. Hopefully he'll um, turn around a little bit. Oh, he's enjoying that sunshine. Now he's cleaning his beak up after the eat. That's a routine. It's interesting with that, in the summertime, the hummingbird will come down and get those little pieces of meat. That's why they like hanging around the Cooperhawk nest. They get a little protein that way so they don't have to catch insects. A lot of people think they uh, live on nectar alone, but they don't. Oh yeah, this is a nice red tail scene. We really got good lighting. Maybe it's going to work out. All right, now he's going to turn around faces. Now, isn't that nice? We're patient now. we got both sides of him. Oh, yeah. Look at that blue sky. Isn't that wonderful? we got many birds here. We're not far from the KOA campground, Camp Washington. The Boeing Aerospace Facility just on the other side of the Green River there. Every time we come down, we get these wonderful birds. And today we got the red tail here. We got him eating his food, cleaning up his beak a little bit. All right, he's gonna go back, get it clean. And that blue sky is just wonderful. Well, I think we'll call that good then. Looks like he's about finished. Now well, here's our red-tailed hawk. It's a juvenile. We're down in Kent, Washington by the Green River. There's two of these youngsters. They've been hunting here. They hatched out here, of course. And we see them by every time we come down here now. And the adults are also in the area. They keep an eye on them. And they're catching their own food now, of course, September. And this one here is very close to the road. We've got nice sunshine, and he's out here trying to catch something. His sibling is up the road about a half mile, hunting from the top of a fir tree. And uh, we're just keeping an eye on him. We happened to drive by and had the opportunity the sun was right, so I thought we'd make a little video of it. But this is a, I believe it's a juvenile red tail. He's sitting here in his favorite tree. He's been here a couple of times when we come by. We're just kind of excited about it. We saw the peregrine falcon on the Boeing Aerospace building again, and it's in the morning, so that means she either fed good yesterday or caught something early this morning. So we're uh, 
saw the o Osprey on the radio tower at the Boeing Aerospace and uh, Peregrine Falcon on her building right next to the Boeing Pond there. And we're down by the Green River, down by the horse track. That's where the red tails are. And it's a good place for bird watching. But our lighting's good. And this bird moving his head around, hunting, looking every which way. And we saw the other one go down to the ground and uh, come back up. I saw a rodent. But they sit there and uh, are patient and they'll catch some food. Oh yeah, he's looking down now a little bit. We'll just keep an eye on him for a little bit here and see what happens. Maybe he'll pounce down in the grass and catch something. I'm looking at his crop. Doesn't look like he's ate yet today. Let's we'll see what he's going to do. Seems fairly relaxed. But they can see. Oh, he's going to turn around though. Oh, look at that, would you? Flapping them wings. Looking good. Yeah, he turned around and gave us another view here. Well, looks like he's going to preen up a little. Oh, there he goes, up higher a little bit. See if I can uh, pan over there. Oh, yeah. He might be thinking about flying. Oh, he's sitting there giving us another angle. That's good. Yeah, he just did a different position there. I think we'll call that good then. Well, here's our little kestrel on another hunt. Sitting on top of his sign. We're down here in uh, Kent, Washington. Oh, he's just beautiful. Look at the colors on this guy. Can't believe it, a bird be that beautiful. About as close as I can get. We got a pretty good wind. You can see it blowing there, and he's right on the very top of the side. <laughs> and he just, oh yeah, now you look at the back of his head. That's the eyes in the back of the head. That's the markings. When you're looking at him straight from the back, it looks just like he's looking at you, and that's his protection against predators. So it's a very handy design. Yeah, he's facing us. He's looking for a mouse and it's windy and wet but actually we're getting pretty good lighting and we get to see how I can uh, hang on to the top of his little sign there and uh, he's continuing to hunt because his eyes are looking every which way he can if he sees a mouse he'll go down and get it they also eat a lot of insects sometimes they eat a lot of grasshoppers things like that other insects. Well, I did see one also catch a frog by the pond. And I didn't know they ate frogs, but yeah, he flew down and caught himself a frog. And there he goes, off on a... Well, I got a juvenile bald eagle. We're down by the Heritage Farms in uh, Kent, Washington. This is a juvenile bald eagle. So a couple of adult eagles uh, just behind me on the tree over there by the Green River. They're usually there every day, but this one was uh, in the tree and his sibling flew in and, and they traded places. So now we have this one here hanging out right next to the Green River and right next to the barn here at the Heritage Farms. It's a horse track. Many birds of prey in the area. It's a good spot for bird watching. And there he's looking around. He probably thinks the sibling might have had a fish or something. He's looking for any leftovers. Oh yeah, he doesn't see anything, so he's keeping an eye on where he went. And he also keeps a little eye on the river there. Oh yeah, give us a good profile there. We saw a Cooper Hawk earlier. We were checking out the birds in the area. Oh yeah. There was a red-shouldered hawk hanging out here when we come to this area to see if we can locate him again. But I haven't seen him in over a week, so he may have uh, migrated out of the area. But uh, today we started out here and we found the juvenile bald eagle. We're excited about that. 
That was a crow that just flashed by. I mean, like to buzz them once in a while. There, we get a close up now. Back off just a little bit. All right. There he's looking around. Keeps looking down to see if there's any scraps there. Good looking bird though. Look at the size of that beak. My goodness. Starting to get a little bit of white on his head, I noticed here. At least a year or two old, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure he'd take any fish that come in the area. See, the Green River's right behind me. Oh, yeah, there you can see the back of his head there. He's got a few white feathers coming in. He's looking intent on something over in that direction. There you go, looking over the back again. I think he's still looking for his sibling. They're kind of hunting together, and they're used to being in the nest, of course, and traveling together, so they get along just fine. That one looked exactly the same age. What magnificent eyes. Look at that intensity there. A great beak. Perfect design for fish, that's for sure.